Hello and uh, welcome to this presentation on how to move audio CDs on the internet. Mm, as you may know, audio CDs are older than the computers. Uh, Sony and Phyllis introduced them in the early 80s and so do not have uh, the data hierarchy. Actually, they later uh, introduced the CD-ROM which already has the data hierarchy in order to write data for using computers. Uh, audio discs are for to be used on players that know and understand what is uh, in uh, the discs and for us <coughs> this is an inconvenient annoyance that we have to use some software in order to move data from and out the cities. Anyway, I have a CD here in my bay. This is my portable computer I have in, in the bay. And I'm going to show you how to move the data into a file. To do this, as said, you need a software that uh, if you happen to have a commercial software like uh, Nero, that will be fine. Uh, if you do not, then you can use some free software, which I'm going to show you how to download. This free software is called ImageBorn, which is here in I-M-G-B-U-R-N, okay, ImageBorn. So, if you go to the website, you have the option to download, which is here. You can download and install on a regular fashion, nothing specific to be explained, so I let it for you. Okay, once we have the software installed, as we do here, if you open the, the program, it welcomes you with a screen in here that says, gives you several options. Among them is to write uh, an image to a disk, a file to a disk. Not actual files, which is in here. This is the, the image of a disk into a disk. Okay? This one will do the opposite, will dump the whole disk into a file, which is what we need. Uh, and this one is uh, an interesting option, which is to verify that the, the disk is correct. Anyway, we are going to use this uh, option to dump the whole disk into a file. So, uh, since I have only one recorder, already have the, the disk in there, uh, here to the right we have some technical information on the on the data on the disk which is fine and we are going to select the folder where we want our file written which is uh, i'm going to choose my uh, desktop and here i have a folder called my disk which is this one and in here i'm going to save and once selected, you press this button and everything goes by itself. So, uh, the file, sorry, the disk has to be moved into a file by this specific software or other specific software, that recording software that you may happen to have in your computer. I do not need to be this one and uh, once the process is finished the process is finished what we have to to do is uh, well, well this is optional but it's convenient is to compress the the files in order to move and to send to us um, you can use whatever you know how to do it like um, we transfer or mega or dropbox uh, and we also have uh, well, the, the, the dialogue said that everything went, went fine. So um, 
once uh, here what we are going to do is to compress uh, let's say in here say we are going to compress the files into a zip file and this file which will be ready to be sent to us is here you can rename it we are not going to rename so here we have the four three files that the program image program uh, create for us this one which holds the actual data and these two that are aids in, in uh, uh, used by the software to write the the file this file into a city okay so with this I finish this first this first uh, video of uh, series this is a presentation for Windows I will do others for Mac and other for the opposite to to write these files into a blank disk so this is it thank you for watching and see you next time